How's it going you guys? So today in this video, I'm going to inform y'all on my results from my 20 day carnivore experiment. So yes, originally it was supposed to be a 30 day experiment and I was uh, most likely going to continue on longer. But um, Christmas time came around and the Christmas ham was spiked with sugar. Uh, and I didn't realize it because I was I was told over and over again that it didn't contain sugar when in fact I actually did. So by the time I was done with um, like half of a plate of ham because I was so fucking hungry, um, turns out, yeah, it was spiked with brown sugar and had a lot of it. So because the ham had brown sugar, I, I couldn't... I couldn't consider that carnivore, and so I technically broke the carnivore diet on Christmas um, accidentally. Um, but that's okay. That was my 20-day mark. And then from for about a, a week after that, I added carbs back in just to see what type of effects, um, you know, I, I get on, on a carb diet versus a zero-carb diet, right? And, the, and adding carbs back in was catastrophic, um, simply because I've always had problems with carbs uh, that I didn't, I wasn't really sure if it was the carbs or not. Um, and being carnivore for 20 days made me realize, number one, I was deficient in protein. And number two, um, carbohydrates uh, cause a lot of um, dis-ease in my body in various systems. So, here's what I experienced. Within the first four days of going carnivore, okay, um, I ha my crippling hip injury that I had gotten about a week before just, com just all damn near completely healed up, okay? Um, before I went carnivore, about a week before, I had a crippling hip injury um, that I got during MMA practice, and I couldn't even walk. It was so bad. But... Um, within two days of, of completely removing all carbs and eating carnivore, um, I could walk again. And within four days, it was virtually non-existent. Like, I, could, I couldn't even tell I was injured unless I engaged that muscle um, in, a in a sporadic fashion, okay? Um, so the injury was still there, but it was, it went, the pain intensity and frequency went from a 10 all the way down to, uh, maybe a two, if even that. So carnivore seemed to completely remove, uh, completely heal all my injuries. I had a, sh a shoulder injury from, uh, a, a poor boxing practice like two, two years ago. And it would always come back when I'd bench press and everything. Uh, within four days of carnivore, that injury completely went away. My joints, my, my body, it no longer hurt. Um, workouts no longer left me feeling sore. And fun fact, um, it's been like a month and a half now. And um, I have the people that I work with, um, I've had them try this as well. I recommend it to them. And uh, they know it's the same thing. No more muscle soreness. Um, they're stronger. Uh, so that's another thing is all my lifts uh, went up. Like within the first uh, four days, I started hitting uh, PRs, like personal records, personal bests. I started, I started hitting new numbers, new records on all of my lifts. My bench press uh, went up both in weight and reps. My, my snatch... My power snatch went up um, drastically by like 30 pounds. Uh, my power clean went up by 20 pounds and about five reps. Um, and this is actually, this this is all within 20 days, but within the first four days uh, was when I started to get stronger. You know, stronger, stronger, stronger on all my lifts. And every workout from the first four days of carnivore onward, I was hitting new PRs, new records, new new numbers each time. Um, and then after the tenth day is when I could tell I was definitely in ketosis because, um, you know, for one, like within six days, my breath was smelling uh, like ketones and my piss changed. Um, and then ten days is when I started to notice the more energy and um, better, like that my sleep was just insanely improved. At the time, I just naturally started to do biphasic sleeping. I don't know if that's because of the diet or what, but before, uh, I, it was very challenging for me to sleep 
without supplements, okay? I used to have to take supplements um, or herbs. I used to have to take herbs in order to fall asleep. Um, ZMA used to put me asleep. Ashwagandha used to put me asleep. But all of a sudden, I don't need supplements anymore. I don't need herbs. And I always wondered if it was like a blood sugar problem or something. Um, uh, even though I got mixed opinion, mixed results from doctors, which is why I don't trust the me mainstream medicine anymore. But, uh, um, anyway, what else? Um, oh, well, I used to get into arguments with my girlfriend, uh, on a regular basis. And then once I went carnivore, I, uh, no longer got annoyed and frustrated at the things that I used to. It, like my tolerance for stress is godlike. I'm able to deal with absolutely annoying people and stressful circumstances that used to make me just, you know, it used to make it very hard for me to, uh, to control myself. Um, you know, and everybody has, you know, stressful times, but different people are able to deal with it um, to differing degrees. And so my stress threshold used to be pretty good, but I, I would blow up every now and then. And especially with my girlfriend, uh, just because we live together, we see the extremes of both the good and the bad. And so um, it was a very frustrating thing. But then as, as soon as I went carnivore, uh, within, again, within four days, boom. Uh, we, we no longer are stressed out. I'm starting to buy her a bunch of gifts and our relationship is like better than it's ever been. I don't think I've ever felt this good in my life. I don't think I've ever had as great relationships. My feelings and and uh, relationship with life in general is better than it's ever been. My strength is better, like my athleticism. Uh, honestly, it's, it's almost like this is how we're meant to eat. That there's a reason why so many people are, are turning carnivore and so many people are are in love with it and so many people are like whoa like like mind blown it's because when you actually try it you realize holy fuck like i've been like everyone's got it all wrong this carnivore shit scene it's like it's damn near too good to be true and i think this is the one thing that is possibly just it's just unbelievable amazing like it actually is true um What's the other thing? Uh, I mean, my endurance has improved, all sorts of things. So, amazing benefits from the carnivore diet within 20 days. And then I did like a, like seven to 10 days where I ate carbs. And I, I added white rice back in my diet. And um, mood swings came back, like my, my, my anger, like my, my uh, tolerance for stress went to shit again. Um, I wouldn't call them mood swings, but I just started to get like annoyed again easily um my my injuries came back it, it was it's crazy um obviously digestion my my poop is so much more regular when i'm carnivore um and uh god damn so many things you know i of course carbohydrates made me constipate again uh well not constipated but i was much more irregular anyway um, my hypothesis is that, so I added vegetables back in, uh, after the, I added carbs and ever since I think like the 4th of January of this month, uh, so it's been, it's been like 15 days, uh, since I removed carbs again this year and I've been doing 15 days where basically I'm just doing a high, high animal protein ketogenic diet where I'm, I'm basically eating um, like 200 to 300 grams of protein every day, um, obviously just from animals, and I'm eating vegetables again, okay? So I'm eating broccoli, I'm eating greens, because my thing is I believe it's the, the, the low net carbs and the high protein that seems to be making the changes, because most people on a traditional uh, keto diet don't get very much protein, and it's unnecessary. 
because if you test your blood ketones, you'll find that high protein does not give you out of ketosis. So anyway, great results uh, eating carnivore, but I don't think removing vegetables is necessary. I'll tell you guys about my current diet, more about it in the next video. Leave your questions, comments down below. Let me know what you think and subscribe.